So I can be the first to admit that I was wrong and my predictions for 2022 weren't exactly 100%. Now that we're at the end of the year, let's take a look at how those predictions fared compared to what actually happened. I'd love to hear your comments down below on if there were any predictions that you got wrong in 2022. And if you ever want to book in a call with me, click on the first link in the description down below. Prediction number one, I predicted that interest rates would go up three times. Well, as we all know, and I think everybody was wrong on this, except that one article from Scotiabank, interest rates went up seven times in 2022. I don't think it's something that anyone would have predicted. And I was definitely wrong on that. My prediction number two, I expected home prices to increase 10% from the start of 2022 till now. I actually wasn't that far off. That being said, there was a pretty significant drop from the peak, so I can't really give myself a point there. Things didn't go up steadily over the course of the year. The first part of January, February definitely made up for the latter part of the year. However, it's not really a steady increase of 10% for the entire year. My third prediction was that 2022 would be the year of the condo, and I still kind of believe that I was right on this one. And the reason I say that is that condos rebounded totally from pre-pandemic pricing. And during the pandemic, everybody had left the city and condos took a huge beating down 12%. They definitely rebounded to get right back on trend of where they should have been this entire time. So not quite the year of the condo from a big gains perspective. However, they're right back on track to where they should have been if we would have wiped out 2020 and 2021. Prediction number four, I had predicted that rental prices would increase by 3% from last year. And I had said that they were down about four to $500 from where they were pre-pandemic. And that's actually true. They, they rebounded to where they were before and actually have gained a little bit as well. So what I didn't predict though, was that they would have been on fire going through the year and rent prices definitely increased through 2022. Prediction number five, I did go against the grain here and I did mention it in my video that I was going against the grain and saying that home sales would be up compared to where they were in 2021. That was way off. Home sales were way down in 2022. The second half of the year, things definitely chilled out. We saw October and November numbers, the lowest in basically a long, long time. So definitely way off on the amount of home sales in 2022. So that's it. They weren't the greatest of results for my predictions of 2022, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you would have predicted differently at the start of this year. I'm Michael Luzes. I'm a realtor in the greater Toronto area. If you ever want to book in a call with me, click on that link in the description down below. I want to help more people just like you. And if you can take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, trying to surpass that 100 subscriber mark by the end of this year to bring you guys more content for next year.